there is a fundamental difference between the approach of the Socialist Party and the IWW on the Black Question, even though quite a few Wobblies were members of the Socialist Party. That is until 1912, when they were expelled, presumably for advocating sabotage and opposing political action. The Socialist Party made no real effort to organize black people, and in the South even regarded black membership as a drawback inasmuch as it would alienate potential white members. Since black people in the South could not vote, and the Socialist Party believed that socialism would come only through the ballot box, it was regarded as a waste of time to recruit black members into the party, thereby driving out white members who alone could vote for socialist candidates. To the limited degree that the Socialist Party recruited black members in the South, where the vast majority of blacks lived prior to World War I, it organized in segregated Jim Crow branches. To its credit, the IWW would have none of this. For one thing, as a syndicalist organization, it opposed political action at the ballot box as a waste of energy and put its faith primarily in industrial organization 